Good morning. This is Patty again from Wigs by Patty's Pearls. You know what? I think we've started a phenomenon at Wigs by Patty's Pearls. It's a little bottle of magic called It Stays. I have loved this for ever so long and now all of you are catching on. Today I want to show you a little bit about it and what you can do to put it on, to put it off and so forth. I've had so many of you write emails and ask questions. So we're going to go through the It Stays one more time from beginning to end. First off, it comes in a little bottle like this with a roll-on cap. Much like, remember, band deodorant? And the roll-on cap is the applicator of the glue. The glue, I really found it through Amona, the breast prosthesis people. And they had a small prosthesis that could attach to the chest cavity. And this is what they were using for it. And I thought, hmm, a little genie in a bottle. So you can use it to tack up your jackets, you can use it to keep on hats, but what we're going to use it for is to keep on your wig. And you can brush it, you can do whatever you want, and the wig will stay on. The good thing is it comes right off with water. It's hypoallergenic, all non all that good stuff. And I figure if uh, it's been approved for the tender chest cavity, it can certainly be approved for our head. I wear it all the time and it's phenomenal. The wig I have on is called Heat. As you know, I love this in shaded praline. I've curled it a little bit. I've washed it a couple of times. It falls down, but it still looks great and curled. I love this look. As you know, Heat is what? Front lace. The rest of it's machine tied. I've got mine curled and messed. You can usually go like this. Bring down your little ones. And there you go, heat. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it with the It Stays. You'll be amazed. See how that came right off? I don't have anything on my head. I take the roll on, and I start it like that, kind of get it prepped. When you start using it, like every day or every other day, I keep mine upside down with the cap on like this, and then that keeps the roller moist. Okay, so I get it primed. Then I kind of put this on my head because I don't want to waste any. Now, see how I'm just rolling it on? I'm being not just messy. I kind of go down in here where I can get all of it like that. This is great also for you women who have hair that's coming back. And you know when your hair starts coming back how it gets really unruly and will go all different ways? Take this. Rub, 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 rub. Now, we've got all those little bitty hairs tied up as well. Then I take my heat wig, whichever wig you have. Now, this one is the front lace, so I want to show you how to hook that lace on. So you take it in the back. You hold it by the back at the nape. You bend your head like you're going into the cap. I start putting mine on with this way down like that. Now, the most important thing, I want you to remember to pull out those little bitty hairs that we've cut. It makes all the difference in the world, especially with the front lace. So while it's on and there's glue there and your hands will feel the glue, the great thing about this glue is, see how I'm pulling it out all the way around? Pulling out those little bitty hairs. While it's still down here, it's not in the glue yet. Remember the glue's up here, babe. Now you come over on this side, pull with the hair, hold out that temple tab, go up, kind of bring out those little ones. This is what you do in the morning as you're getting ready, and then you walk out and you forget it the rest of the day. Now, I get my temple tabs. They're even. Now I'm going to take up, pull, pull, pull up that smart lace or the base of the cap or the monotop, whatever it might be. And I've got it up to my four fingers from the forehead to the hairline. Now, see how I'm using my fingers and I'm pulling? I hope you can show that. There. See how that is? Now, I'm going to go under, not on top, because that will flatten the wig and make it a mess. I want you to go under and go press and print. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Press and print. Press. I even go back in case I got some glue back there. Now, while you've got it stuck like that, and before you walk away and everything's fine, I want you to lick your fingers. Spit's really good. Now, lick your fingers. And then I want you to go up to that lace. It's sticking in really well. I'm coming closer so you can see it. Now what you're seeing is that little bitty hairlines all the way around. Now look. Ba-ba, ba-ba, ba-ba. It's a miracle. Now I want to show you what I do with the brush. This is a heat defiant, so I'm going to use my little pick. Look at this. I can go back like that. It's still there. Bring out those little hairs. And be sure and chuck it there on the sides. Remember, I put some that stays there, too. And go like this. And go like this. Isn't this magic? I love this kind of stuff. And I love to share it with you guys. These are what, This is one of those aha moments. Okay. Dum, 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 dum. I'm ready for the day. You might look a mess, but nobody knows I have a wig on, babe. Now remember, I know I say it all the time, but you only get it from me. And the custom hairline really makes a difference. When you get it home and you see all those little big baby hairs, and some of them along the sides are straight, because, and then I've steamed them, so they'll stay flat against your face. Now, had a hard day, coming home from work, Gonna put my nighties on, and I go in my bed bedroom, and here's how easy it is. Oh, I want to tell you one thing. If there's some glue around here, this glue comes off with just cold water. You put the cold water on your fingers, go like this, and it's gone. But watch, it doesn't hurt, I promise you. It does not pull out the hair, I promise you. Ta-da! There. Sticky? Yeah, sticky. Okay, sticky in the wig. I've had so many people say this. Does it feel a little sticky? Yeah, because I didn't let it totally dry and it was just kind of nappy. But if you get it on your lace front or if you get it on your forehead, here's what you do. It's so easy. Oh, I don't have any cold water. I'll use this. You just get cold water on a washcloth, like that, and it washes right off. If it gets sticky and you've got it on your wig, you want to get it off your wig, you turn it inside out like this, hold it, take a wet wash rag with cold water, wash like that, the glue will come right off. There's no need for you to wash the wig every week simply because when you're using it, it stays. If it gets down here on the moleskin washcloth, it'll come right off with some cold water. Then I'm going through the day, I'm going out at night, I got my makeup on again, I come into my bedroom, I get the wig, watch me guys, middle of my forehead, got it? It's way down here, poo. Then the temple tabs, pull them down, even, I know you've heard this a hundred times, but it, now what am I doing? I'm pulling out those little bitty hairs, babe. Pulling out the little bitty hairs. See how I'm scratching them and getting them there? That's your first line of defense. Nobody knows if you got those little ones. Now, we're gonna take it up to my hairline. Scratch those, remember, spit, bring them out. You're ready to go out and have fun at night. Have a great weekend. Bye.